Hello everyone, this is Josh X Play Place, and today I am very excited because we are going to start playing Cities Skylines 2. We're going to create a new city, start expanding and growing it really, really nicely, as much as we can do, of course, in this first episode. Just two things to know. The first one is that I did lower the settings for the graphics as recommended by the developer and just a little bit more too, just to have a smoother experience. Also, I did play a couple of hours uh, prior to this uh, to this episode just to get a hang of the controls, nothing major, and to get to know the system a little bit more. When you open this new game, you're gonna be shown a couple of options. The new, uh, the first one is new game, load game, options, credits, and exit, and we are gonna do a new game. We have twelve different maps. Uh, from Archipelago Haven, Barrier Island, Great Highlands, Lakeland, Mountain Village, River Delta, San Francisco, Sweeping Plains, Tampere, Twin Mountain, Water Pass, and Windy Forts. And I think for now we're going to use River Delta. And we're going to select this map. As you can see, uh, the climate is, is nice. Uh, it's 42% of buildable area, which is going to be enough for, uh, for us to begin our first city in city skylines it has railway highway waterways airplanes and electric connections as well as some good natural resources in the form of fertile land and oil so we're going to select this map we're going to change the name and we're going to name it in order to go with my theme which is texas cities i'm going to go i'm going to go with houstonville i think that's going to be good enough and we're going to change the theme to north american and there's very few options that you have here. Now, the first one is left-hand traffic, which we are going to keep on check because we are in North America. Uh, we're going to keep natural disasters on. Of course, that adds a little bit more of a challenge. We are not going to check unlock all or unlimited money for now. And we are going to disable all the tutorials. So let's begin the, the game. And yes, I did play a little bit yesterday and it, it got me, it takes a little bit to get a hang of it, but I think we will be doing just perfectly fine. As you can see, this map is huge, completely huge. It looks really, really nice. It's very detailed and we'll see what the buildable area that we can use is going to be. At the beginning, we have only this area, which is nine blocks, nine tiles here. So it's a really, really good area. Something that I am actually loving with this, with this map, and it's something that I've complained about, is the fact that we have, we're gonna have a road with connection that's already kind of used, or that it's already uh, gonna be able to be used, and which means that. We're basically going to be in the middle of uh, a road that's hopefully going to have traffic. So it's going to be easier for us to start our really cool city here. It's, it's, it's going to take us a bit to get used to this starting area because it is kind of small. And so either way, I think it's going to be, it's going to be great. And I love it. Uh, I also like the fact that they started this really small couple of blocks and i think we're gonna take some cues for that there's not that many things open and that's a criticism that i have not only for this for this game but for cities skylines it's i i find it very odd that they're trying to increase difficulty into the game by having this locked and be open depending on which milestones you actually you actually unlock i think that's unfortunate because this game is not about that type of um, i don't think that's the way to increase difficulty you can increase difficulty with so many other things and we'll see what one of those is in in a bit or later today we still have our info views and we have the roads we have traffic we have electricity we have water service we have residential zone we have commercial industrial we also have the company 
uh, profitability, we have happiness, we have citizen wealth, workplace availability, we have air pollution, ground pollution, noise pollution, and water pollution, which I think it's really, really cool. We have these map tiles, which will be unlocked as soon as we get to Tiny Village. We have the progression. We have where we are at in terms of milestones. We have our city information, which basically is the demand that we have for all the different zones. City policies is not unlocked. At first, we have the zones for low density, uh, North America low density housing and industrial zones as well as commercial zones we have so much more to be unlocked we don't have areas unlocked we don't have signature buildings unlocked we do have roads and the only criticism that i have at least for for this is the fact that although we do have gravel roads we don't have two lane in gravel roads like this so this is going to be our most basic and the size is two squares as we can see here we also have the asymmetric road. We have one way roads, uh, one way, one lane, one way, two lanes, one way, three lanes. We have the gravel road, which is just one tile wide, as well as the alleys, which this is going to be interesting to be able to place uh, later on. We have a pedestrian street, which is going to be very interesting. We have a two lane wooden covered bridge, which of course we cannot do here, but I can show you really quick here. And we also have the two lane truss arc uh, bridge. Let's see if we can increase it just a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, it looks really cool. And this one is also gonna look really, really nice once we plop it. Um, there's different options when you, what you, of what you can do with your roads. The first one is the regular straight road, which is just a regular straight road. You can do the simple curve, which is basically choose two points and just curve it like this. We have the complex curve, which is basically uh, start your road, click on one curve, click again, and you're gonna do another curve. And that's gonna look really nice. And that's gonna help us with some uh, neighborhoods later on. And we have the continuous. Uh, curve which is basically like this you go on and go on and go on we have these small roads we also have the medium roads and we should be able to unlock all these large roads highways intersections uh, we actually have roundabouts but we have to unlock bigger ones uh, we'll have to unlock parking and road services when it comes to the tools we can also have a grid which is something that SimCity 4 used to do and when you click on one area, you click on the other one, and that's how you start building your grid. This is to replace or upgrade your road. It's really cool what this, um, this tool now can do. For example, if we, have a, if we wanna upgrade, let's say this to three, it's gonna give us the option as to where we wanna put it. If it's like kinda in the middle, if it's more to the left or more to the right, and that helps whenever you're gonna start building your highways and your exit ramps. We're not gonna deal with the underground mode for now. And then the snapping. And the snapping is what I think is gonna give us a little bit more trouble because with what I tried yesterday, the uh, the couple hours that I did, it gets a little bit weird in how it deals with how things uh, a corner and how 90 degrees work, and 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 it it got a little bit a little weird. Okay, I had forgotten to turn on the volume, and hopefully that's that's good enough for you all. So we also have electricity. And since we have a connection with electricity, we're not gonna worry about having any plants for now. We're only gonna worry about having a transformer. And in terms of water, we are gonna have to worry about uh, plopping down either the water pumping station or the water tower. And I think the, the water tower, I think the pumping station will be, will be fine. It's even cheaper to, to keep and maintain as well as we need the sewage so that shouldn't be a problem again 
at least four right now and this is gonna be super super cool and so the first thing that i'm gonna do is i am gonna start laying down some roads thankfully uh the devs have already uh given us some help so what i'm gonna do first is i am gonna unclick snap to guidelines because we have different ones we have the the album we have to existing geometry to zoning cell length to 90 degrees um, to the size of a building which is actually really cool and to guidelines and to uh, zone grid which it's sometimes it's helpful and sometimes it's not so i'm just gonna uh, deselect what i think it's not so we're gonna start to zone and what I'm going to do is basically what we did in New Austin, which is to create uh, to create squares, just square blocks. One of the things that I don't like here is the fact that now we're not told um, we don't have a length, basically, kind of. We, we can do it in here by uh, putting together the two circles that each um, that the road creates but that is about it. And as you can see, sometimes things don't align correctly. It's a little bit frustrating sometimes. And uh, trust me, I, I tried this a couple of different ways uh, when I was previously playing this game. And it, it, it's a little bit frustrating how things just don't work. Sometimes uh, things just are uh, different. So what we're going to do is I think I am going to keep the industrial site here and I am going to build as much as I can for housing on this side, still keeping the keeping the uh, the grid as much as we can. So let me continue building this and we will be back. I think that's gonna work really really well at least for right now as you can see I had some issues when putting down the road sometimes things work nice what I think it's best is to make sure that you that you start your road on the on the edge and that way you don't get that many issues same thing here just be careful and that way you don't get uh, mismatched stuff uh, one thing that I dislike right now is the fact that you need to uh, unlock the being able to disable the traffic lights you're gonna have traffic lights whenever a medium road has an intersection uh, unless it has a roundabout for example here uh, and so on and so forth like here 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 and that's a little bit frustrating that you cannot do that at the beginning. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a mistake to do that, but hopefully that can be changed later on. I don't think so because that's part of the game. Again, that's uh, part of the issue with having uh, these things be a little bit more of a uh, challenge rather than not. So since we have electricity, we're gonna need a power line. One of the big power lines not the electric cable and we are gonna connect it all the way here and we are gonna put this transformer station right here 
and we are going to connect this here so we already have electricity we're not going to worry about having any plants for now and for water first we do need to uh, i think we're going to put the pumping station and we are going to place it here let's draw a little road and we're going to use the gravel roads for this and since we have the snap to the sides of a building that's how this is going to work really well and now it's time to I'm gonna put it with this road right here and let me extend this this other road right here I think that's gonna work well again at least for right now so this should already be uh, have electricity and since this has electricity it should have water and the last thing that we're gonna do is place the sewage outlet and I think we're gonna put it since this is where the river flows I think we should be fine putting it at least here for right now I think that should be fine and let's also draw a little a little row really quick we'll do this curve row mid here and I think that's gonna work really really well I'm gonna do two things and the first one is to put a roundabout here and another one here and just one here just for the sake of it especially here because maybe we'll get a lot of traffic coming from this highway which is called King Highway which turns into a uh, Concord Street and I like the way that it shows how long the street is as you can see and so right now I think we were able to lay down our grid I think this is gonna look really really nice it's gonna look really really well we're avoiding having to draw extra power lines um, we're gonna have to redo this later but at least for right now let's see what else we need to do so we've already uh, plopped a lot of stuff and that gives us the XP points and the XP points is what's gonna help us to reach the next milestone so just by laying down our roads uh, and whatnot we were able to get to 567 XP points which should help us get to tiny village once we reach tiny village we're gonna get six hundred thousand uh, dollars we're gonna get a development point and we're gonna get expansion permits which is three which will allow us to buy map tiles it will also allow us to borrow money to deal a little bit with the city budget get city statistics and unlock medium density housing as well as other roads uh, healthcare and garbage management so we'll see also that's going to be interesting to see where we're going to be able to to fit it for now maybe we can build it here but we will see so first let's let this game run and that's how we're gonna get some demand so first let's start by putting down some low density and if you have this tool the field you also have the marquee which in which you can select which tiles and you also have the uh, paint which is basically one by one if you have the fill you can select everything you want to zone and it will zone it automatically so I'm gonna zone this here I'm also gonna zone commercial here here and here and just because I want to have commercial by the main street which is uh, Grove Street I think I'm gonna draw some of the little alleys here and I think Thing, that should be good enough another really nice tool that we have here is the fact that I'll always make sure to select the, the straight road is the fact that we can just draw a street or a road and we don't have to stop at every intersection we can do it like this and it's gonna be really really nice so let me zoom this 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 and this and now we need industrial and we're gonna do one two three zones just like 
that let's have this run for a little bit As you can see, we have a lot of buildings growing. I like the fact that these buildings take a little bit to build. I don't like the fact that there's uh, cranes for small houses. I think that's a little bit too much. I I'm sure they can fix that in an update. Uh, I'm okay with having cranes for the, the industrial side, but not for the houses it seems a little bit too that extreme especially when uh, it's not that much you know it's it's not a it, it's just regular houses maybe they should have some uh, more different stuff but let me see let me try to soften that terrain i think and there's a lot of demand for residential so we're gonna try to to meet that demand right now. Again, we will be playing with uh, with the graphics as we keep playing and the episodes go. So I know that the quality is not the greatest right now, but I think that it's it's gonna be fine. We should be fine with this quality for now. It's just to make sure that that the game is running is running well that we don't have any main issues which uh, yesterday that I was playing a bit uh, I didn't but again just to avoid any type of issues for for now and see sometimes we get these things that are uh, pause the game, that are a bit annoying uh, in terms of in terms of uh, the roads and how they snap to something which is not not normal but again you're able to to deal with it and i am gonna try to and so finally we got to the first milestone which is tiny village we get the rewards that we talk about we did money the, the uh, now we unlock the rock musician mansion we have the money we have the development points and we have the expansion permits and let's talk about a little bit about the development points and how this basically works so we have a couple of different tabs the first one is the road and as you can see we have the basic roads we have the basic roads services and then we have options to unlock for example the the other larger roundabouts we have the advanced road services which is going to help us to basically uh, we can take off the traffic lights put stop signs uh, this or that and so and this one i do think that it's basic that it should have been added and as you continue you have highways larger roads intersections and then a grand bridge or if you with the parking area route you get parking areas then underground parking building permits and then automated parking buildings it's it, i like and don't like this because there's so many things that your city might need that you need to unlock and it's a little bit unfair again this for me, this doesn't create a challenge. This is, this is more of an, an annoyance than a challenge. Then we go to the electricity plant and we have different types of, uh, of power that we can generate, even some batteries. Same thing with water, we just have better treatment plants. In terms of healthcare, we have the uh, crematorium and then we have a hospital and then um, better healthcare institutions and the ones that we can unlock for right now and in garbage management we can have the incinerator plant the recycling center and then once you unlock both of these you get the industrial waste processing and again this is something that is a little bit frustrating the fact that you need to unlock both of these in order to unlock the last one and since we already have one i think what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the advanced road services so you can see what I'm talking about. And then we can unlock the rest ones. We're fine with the little roundabout. It shouldn't be a big deal. Now, in terms of map tiles, first of all, as you can see, this is how big this map is. It's huge, huge, huge. It's very, very big. And if you want it, everything would be a 520 um, 
tiles, which is just completely crazy. And it would cost more money than we will have. But at least for now, that's just gonna have to, to be it. So let's unlock some tiles. And I think, and I think that in order for us to put a landfill, I think I'm gonna put it in this area. I'm gonna put it here. I know that it that it's uh, something that we shouldn't do here, but maybe we can do it. Uh, the thing is that if we put it anywhere near here, we're gonna be in, uh, close to the expressway and close to where the shoreline is. And if we place it um, in this area, I think there's a lot of really good uh, stuff here that we can use for the forestry. But I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unlock this one. Uh, let's wait for now. I think unlocking this one should uh, should suffice, uh, especially because without knowing, we created this road that's gonna be able to be going here instead of just putting it by the expressway. So let's see. Let's try to build a little bridge here. But first of all. As you can see, we unlock the four lane divided road, which is really, really cool. We have the regular four lane road, which is here. We have the five lane asymmetrical road, which is also really nice. And then we have the four with well, a one way four lane road, which is huge. And the five lane one way road, which is also huge, 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 huge. So let's delete this for now. And we also have the road services, like I mentioned. So we have this road maintenance depot. We have, again, these traffic lights, which we should be able to delete some of the traffic lights that we have. Uh, the first one that's going to be here. Again, I don't think you should be, you should have to unlock this. As you can see, you can plop them if you left click or you can delete them if you uh, right click as you can see here we can put it we can delete it and i think that's gonna work that's gonna be really really great that's gonna be working really nice we are also able to delete the crosswalks for example if we didn't want anybody to be crossing in this road we can do it like this, or we can actually allow them to, to cross. So we'll see how, how that goes. Uh, we can, you know, uh, do the stop signs, which let me get really close, which we have yield signs, but we can do stop signs. And same thing if you don't want to do left turns, this or that. And we can change things to have a wider sidewalk. For example, as you can see here, and I think I'm going to I'm going to do that here to show you. And really quick, you can see how the sidewalk is larger. Same thing on the other side. And then you can also add grass here, here. And if you add grass, you don't have to uh, widen the, the sidewalk. And I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do it for this road, which is going to be our main road, at least for now. And you can also plant trees, which we should do just for the sake of it. I think it's going to look nice as they grow little by little. And we can do, we can add lighting to roads that don't have it, like for example, the highways. And I think we can do something for this road, just to show you how, how it works. And you can get very, very close, very nice. See, it works. I think it works really well. It's going to be great. And then we can unlock the barriers, but that's with the highway progression. Also, we unlock the a signature building, which is the Rock Musician Mansion. And maybe we can, we can put it in here. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe here. Uh, we'll see what it does. It's basically a plus two well-being within a 547 yard which is going to be interesting to see maybe we can just put it in its own little in its own little 
little block and i think that's gonna be great that's gonna be that's gonna be nice so we unlock the medium density row housing and we can start working with that because uh, the uh the demand is extremely high so we actually need to start working on it and that's something for us to uh to deal with not right now we're gonna uh, i'm gonna wait just a little bit we did unlock the medical clinic, which is something that I will plop uh, right away, just to make sure that the people are uh, have enough uh, have a place to where they can uh, they can be treated. And I'm also gonna extend this road really quick so we can plop down i know it's gonna be next week and it's gonna be a little bit morbid but we're gonna need the cemetery and the cemetery is huge so maybe we can do it okay and last but not least we need to plop down the landfill but first we need to have a road connecting it here um, and i think we're still gonna use this two lane road uh, actually, this is a four lane. So let's try to see. Let's make this a medium. And I think that's fine. Let's see if... Let's see how well this works. We're going to do 118 yards. We're going to connect it here. And then we're going to be lowering it again. Lowering it again. And we're going to do 120 yards. And we're gonna let's. I think this should be fine. And let's just continue the road just a little bit. Another letter from so we can have a little gravel road come What's out of it. And that way we can place down our landfill. Violins, and let me extend the road. These days okay, at least for right now. Guess lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself hmm? let's see here y'all got soul oh yes soul. and then we can plop A down these. and then you have to do a zone which we're gonna try to make as, as well as we can that's something that I I kind of like and dislike because it's a little bit cumbersome, but I think that it makes sense. I think it's actually a, a an interesting take on this. So we create it, and that's how much of a landfill we are going to have. Of course, maybe we can extend it, maybe we can build something else, but not for right now. So before we continue with the uh, zoning of the medium density row housing, because we're going to try to do something a little bit different than just these squares, um, let's take a look at a building that we just plopped, which is the medical clinic. And so it shows us how well things are, how much it costs, and I think we can lower it, uh, we can lower it in the in the budget in just a little bit we're seeing the efficiency uh the employees uh the storage capacity for resources and the patients and we also have the option to upgrade in this case we can add more ambulances and on this one it's an extension wing which i don't know how many you can place down we'll see that later on and this is something that sim city 2020 2013 did really well that's something that i really liked about sim city 2013 and that, that that's just great because you don't have to plot down so many medical clinics you actually can just upgrade them and that's that's great that sim city uh, that city skylines 2 is able to do any here we can uh, again have more garbage trucks we can do a uh, different waste collection point, a uh, hazardous waste collection point, and the uh, waste recycling unit. So basically, uh, we can recycle a whole lot more than that. And we have a huge demand for for this medium density residence zone. So first of all, let me start by continuing this road 
and let me just expand this that way it doesn't give us any any issues and you'll see what i'm gonna try to do right now so i don't know why this is giving me so many problems i'm just gonna delete it and just continue this here um, because i'm not gonna use this for now so what i'm gonna try to do or what we're gonna do right now is to now that we unlock this and we're able to the vegetation and we'll we'll do it in a little bit we have pathways and in order for us to create just a little bit um, a little bit more diversity and to create different uh, buildings as you can see as opposed to cities skylines one that only let you build four blocks away from the road this lets you to build six so i think that's that's a lot and that's great but i think for these row houses or uh, they're actually not the row houses they're just the medium density row, yeah the row housing we're gonna try to see if we can get away with doing just three three blocks on each way so first let's draw this road a little bit more and let's draw this this walkway and i am gonna add another walkway here and we're gonna finish the road and make sure that it's only three blocks which it's gonna work really well and also let me add just one here and just one here just to give it a little bit of uh, uh, texture and as you can see these things work really well the pathways or the uh, pavement paths as they call them and this can actually create a crosswalk which i think it's a really really cool thing to do and it's something that maybe we can do here to show us and to have you know people be able to uh, not have to uh, do anything unfortunately it messes this up uh, again i don't like it i really don't like the fact that it messes up uh the zoning and that's one of my biggest criticisms with this game it's the fact that zones get messed up with whenever you create a crosswalk really it's 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 sad it's, it's frustrating especially with what we want to do but anyways let's at least try to zone this here and while it grows, we can take a look at this vegetation. And it's great because we have a lot of different uh, trees and bush bushes that we can that we can plop down. And the really cool thing that it's something that SimCity 4 had is that once you plant the tree, it's gonna be just a little tree. For example, if we're gonna plant a pine. It's going to take a while for the pine tree to grow. So for me, that's great. Uh, again, it, it adds a lot of detail into the city. It, it shows just a lot more stuff uh, and how it's going to grow. That It's just great. And you can also, le also place multiple, for example, in here. And that's just completely great. I think it's one of the greatest things that can be added to this game it just adds a lot a lot into being able to to grow things unfortunately um i don't think you can put any here unlike SimCity 4 that actually allow you to plop some trees in open spaces so we can try it again i don't think it's gonna make a difference but yeah it doesn't let you uh, that's something that i wish it would do because and we'll see it once we place uh, SimCity 4 in a couple of, of weeks it's just really really cool and now that we have these um these buildings growing and again i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pause the game really quick i am gonna destroy these buildings that are growing on the side and i am gonna add a walkway here another one here this one here and the only thing that I don't like is that this makes the pathways not go here unless you create 
the the walkway, which sometimes creates the uh, the messing up with the zones. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, we were able to do it there, and maybe we can do it here without messing anything up. There you go. I mean, we can try to make this work once again. Let's see if um, we can make this not mess up. So let's let's delete this walkway and we're gonna place down this here and let's try one more time to see if this yeah there you go again it's just very finicky sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and it's just very at least very annoying at least for me uh, so that's gonna work really well we're gonna do that there and the reason why I did this is because we want to have these uh, buildings be three squares uh, in length as opposed to the five that we're actually even growing here. So what I'm also going to do is I am going to try to plop down some more trees and I think that should be that should be fine the way things start growing here for whenever the city continues growing so I think that's that's going to be great as you can see our progression keeps getting better in terms of XP now we're going to get to small village what are we going to get with small village it's basically money more of these development points and more expansion permits as well as taxation uh different type of uh, density housing medium density housing and opening the education and research as well as building the elementary and the high school which i'm very very excited uh to start building so let's work a little bit on growing this site i think this is gonna be uh, this is gonna work really really well let's just expand this up until here and i don't think there's anything to expand here that would take uh let's see yeah well it would be here so yeah i think we can we can do it here so it's one two three four five six so let's make sure that and this one is also so this one is actually more so let's let's try to do that as always trying to make sure to to start at the edge there you go and we said that six was going to be fine let's just continue this road here yeah that's another that six that way the cemetery has uh where to expand we're also going to expand this road we're gonna have a really long, a really long uh, block there. Let's continue this here. Let's also have this here, and maybe let's see. Maybe we can just continue the the contour here, kind of to have a little bit different. Uh, roads and not just regular a regular grid again at least for right now because of course we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep growing and this is gonna continue we'll leave it like that for right now so let's add more low density housing here 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 and sure all the way here and we are also gonna build a couple more roads and i think this is where we might want to delete this road so let me pause it really quick so we can delete this i kind of i'm trying to get uh, used to this uh, bulldoze tool i kind of like it i kind of don't um but we'll see how how it goes so i think that's gonna be great just gonna have to stop there and continue with our straight roads and again making sure that there's no weird stuff going on 
I think there might be something weird here. Yeah, so let's let's pull those all this and let's try to see let's try to see if we can if we can continue just these blocks to for them to be just regular squares. Let's just keep going. And so what we're gonna do is we are gonna continue this road and yeah it's messing it up again i i hope they can do something with this we're not even using uh that many snapping tools uh it, it's just very annoying and uh, especially for those of us that just want regular regular roads to be or square roads basically to be just hassle free this is and I think that's going to work well here. That's going to work nice. So let's draw our walkways. Let's try to continue. You know what? I should have continued this here. So let's just continue this here. The walkways are automatically added. So that's good. Let's hope that nothing weird or crazy happens here nope so we are fine and i think we're gonna just do this here and here and add some pathways that way there's nothing growing on the site and that way we don't have uh, buildings that are five uh, five squares in length and let's uh, let's hope there you go we didn't mess it up so let's zone this and this which we apparently hadn't and let's zone all of this and um, let's leave this for right now I think we should be fine. I forgot to unlock. As you can see, uh, we don't have uh, we don't have enough. Oh, let me pause again. We don't have enough water because we disconnected this. So let's connect it really, really quick before we mess something up even worse. And let's just do it here. I think that's gonna be good. And now everything has water and electricity. And everything should be growing. And now we're gonna need some uh, commercial zoning, and I think we're fine. All of this is zoned, and we can always zone this for commercial. Uh, it's gonna be really, really nice. Another quick criticism that I have is we have no bicycles here. That's kind of weird to me. Um, I don't know why it wasn't easy to, to do but it is what it is let's slow down this really quick as you can see we might be able to see some accidents let's uh, let's hope we kind of don't but again it shouldn't matter we still have chirpy here uh, I really don't care too much for this I wish they would have done what sim city 3000 did which is rely heavily on your advisors, especially because we are assuming that you are the major of this town. So I think that would be a good thing to, to try, basically have the advisors be uh, popping up and say, hey, this is going on. We also have the follow citizens. We don't have anybody that we're following. So maybe we can follow Magnus and we're gonna add him here. He is uneducated. Uh, he is an employee, he works for this really cool store and it's interesting that people can walk on nothing here oh uh, maybe it is actually considering uh, part of this and um, he lives in 171 lake street which is right here he's very close to his workplace so that looks really, that is really really cool And so we are very close to reaching the next milestone, which is small village. It's just a matter of time. So let's first of all enjoy the rain in this city. It's looking really, really, really nice. 
and let's use the photo mode and we can change the lens we can change all these things so maybe we do an eight millimeter we can do that super 35 and um, it's just it's just something for you to play with i don't think we're gonna do that much right now we can try to change the color the contrast the tint uh, the saturation maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more uh, the white balance tint all of these cool stuff that at least for right now we're not going to worry about we can also change the time of day and so many other things that uh, and we can do something similar for all these other stuff that it's just very very fancy but we're not going to deal with it because what we're going to get into is playing with our city and we reached our second milestone and once again let's take a look what we unlocked it's basically more money uh, more development points and more expansion permits a uh, different limit with the loans uh, taxation which we're gonna deal with right now medium de density housing education and research and our elementary and our high school and as you can see now we have this unlock which is basically the we have the basic education services and we are going to unlock the college at least for right now there's really nothing that i would like to unlock um maybe we can do the parking areas uh, but we don't have enough points so we're going to wait for our next milestone which shouldn't take that much to that long to to reach but we are going to take a look at the things that we unlock and thankfully we have a little dot a green dot that's telling us that there's something new and basically we have the north america medium density housing so they're uh, north american style small apartment buildings we kind of have a little bit of them of still demand for it so we are gonna do this we're gonna put them here and here and we are gonna take a look at the city economy as you can see we are not making that much money and i think that's one of my main also issues with this game because you get subsidies from the government which is basically i guess just money that the game gives you because it is a more realistic yet more difficult game when it comes to budget we have the loans which we're not going to touch for now and we are going to increase these to uh let's do 11 for now and then we can change it to 12. i'm not going to go into the whole uh at least for commercial and residential having to do all this very detail i i don't think that's good so again we're spending way too much money uh, especially with a kid but unfortunately we cannot take a look at our services and how much money they're spending i think that's also one of the negatives that all these things that you should be able to unlock especially because if you really want to uh, play the the city management aspect of this game you need to you need to be able to unlock them or to have them available early on we also have the city statistic which is something that i love from sim city 4 and sim city 3000 as you can see we, we can see the money how it went up when we reached the milestone uh the budget unfortunately again we're spending way more than we have as far as the wealth i think is household wealth what has the most we have a population that keeps growing same thing with number of households uh same thing with population change happiness it's here and there and once we start plopping down the school and the high school i think things are gonna go even better there's a lot of job availability especially for industrial jobs there's also uh, a whole lot more commercial uh, workers i think well no there's actually more industrial than commercial and we have an unemployment uh, i guess rate that's very low in terms of education we have uh, citizens of a little bit of everything uh, in terms of uneducated poorly and educated but that's gonna change as far as company count we have over 50 we have a positive trade value uh, apparently we're doing textiles 
in terms of tourism i guess we don't have any and uh, no income from that yet and so what we're gonna do before we finish this first episode i think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plop a high school or a let's do the let's do the uh, the elementary school first and we're gonna plop it let's see so let's draw a road here let's put it here again don't forget to change your tool mode and that's it and let's draw another road here and let's see why this didn't work again gets very finicky we're not trying to do anything fancy uh, it's still doing it and i think it needs to be a little bit more it's not gonna let us so what we're gonna do is the next best thing which is just not do anything uh so let's keep this road here and here and i think that's gonna be enough at least for right now so let's place the elementary school here and let's see how we're gonna be able to expand this and we have the children's clinic uh, yeah i think we're gonna have to delete this road and we have the extension wings which are here and we have a playground which we are gonna plop right now and yeah let's delete this uh, let's pause again really quick and i'm gonna do something right now which is to redraw these uh these power lines and i'm gonna do it here so i'm gonna do it from here to here and that way we can do a type of this could be our uh we can make these one-way roads to make it our power line road and let's just continue this here And now we need to connect this into the outside connection. There you go. And let's run it just to make sure that we're doing well. There you go. And bef be, uh, before we continue this, let's take a look at the electricity tab. And you can see that we're consuming everything that we are trading, basically that we are buying a lot of electricity, which is something that you were able to do in SimCity 4 especially with all the different towns that were linked in and i think it's it's still one of the best uh, maps that we we've, we've gotten uh you usually got one very big city with smaller and medium cities on the on the outside uh in terms of water we're doing really well we might be able to sell some water but i don't think we have any any connections to uh, the outside uh, maybe here i don't know but that's that's it i do want to lower the the budget for this because it's doing really well and we're spending a lot of money so we can at least have it and we should be fine uh same thing with the uh with the healthcare and with the garbage because we have a we have 9.2 tons and we are processing 0.6 which i don't know if that's good or bad we'll see why that is because um, you can see we haven't we don't have that many that many things in here what i'm gonna do just in case is i am gonna upgrade this road to a larger regular road and hopefully that can because i don't see any any vehicles here but maybe because it's already late so anyways before we continue so let's draw this road here and uh, it's messy of course because why not and let's continue let's try it again see that worked and let's try this here it worked and i think we can try this here again and it worked again so we have a couple of things that we can do uh first of all let me pause this game really quick and let's try to redraw these streets there you go frankly yes 
And I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to delete all these. Not towards our milestones, but towards our achievements. Okay. So we have... Uh, let's continue running the game. We have the school here. And that's going to work really well. Students are starting to get there. And we are going to build the high school. And... I don't know if we should build it here and the reason being is that let's try to I'm gonna put it here and the reason why it's because you can build also another wing which is gonna be to the right you can build another uh, library wing which is here and you can build this um, this sports field and what I I think we're gonna have to do once we build this. I, I, I think I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm just gonna delete this and this. That way, whenever, whenever we add these sports uh, place, we can do it there. And that's that's one of the difficult things about. And let me pause the game, so we can just. This is bothering me just a little bit. Um, again, that's one of the issues with having a city that starts in a small in a small place like this um, we have a lot of water and so I think that's uh, that's a bit of an issue so that is that let's continue running the game and we have uh, students are already starting to get there and one thing we're gonna do before we finish is we're gonna add more zoning here and more here and that should be it for right now i think this is gonna work really really well and i think our city has been growing really really nice i do like the fact that i hope that we are getting traffic from this side of the road let's Let's try to see if there's traffic. Yeah, there's traffic from, from this highway. There's traffic from this highway. And that's great because that means that our city is being used really, really well. Again, things are looking nice. Our city is growing. As you can see, we have a lot of, lot of places to play with. A lot of space to play with. And... Um, we have to see how we want to expand this city and I think we're gonna go this way I think I'm gonna call this uh, we're gonna go east and north to go with the expressway and maybe get uh, closer to these uh, these train tracks or we can just go again I'm gonna call this south and just continue uh, plopping more stuff here there's also the expressway goes through here so maybe we can we can have an exit and uh, let's see how that's gonna work because we haven't worked with the highways that much because of course we don't have them unlocked yet I think that for being our first episode our first real city we're doing well one last thing let's take a look at this bottom tab we, t we took a look at all these um, functions but in here we can see the time and date we can see the time we can see the speed the weather the season that we're in the name of our town that of course we can edit in here we see the population and it's a really cool view that shows you how the uh, what the age of the people are in here apparently it's mostly old people as you can see here uh, we also have the budget which we're not doing that well and that's something I I guess that we're gonna struggle with uh, for the time being however I think that because we have plopped down the services that are gonna be completely useful for a long time for example this is a population of 800 we don't have that many but it's not even to 10 uh, percent it's not even to five percent it's less than three percent to a half percent so we're we're fine in that 
and grow same thing for the landfill i mean there's a whole lot a whole lot of, of area here same thing for the cemetery and for the medical clinic which is which is fine we don't really need a lot uh we're seeing our first complaint which is uh not enough customers so we'll see how that goes uh once we start continuing this so i'm just gonna leave i think we're gonna end this i think we're gonna end this city right now it's raining which looks really nice i wish it was sunny but but it is raining as you can see this for me this city looks a little bit more realistic than what a beginning of a city in cities skylines one looked like so that's that's a positive uh, based on the couple of hours that we played here, the couple of hours that I played by myself uh, earlier on, it's an improvement in terms of the look, of the feel, of the dimension of things. Things are bigger because they need to be bigger. Uh, the houses look smaller because they needed to look smaller. We have different types of zone, which I think was the best thing uh, that could have been added to this game, different types of zones. And everything is just, I think, overall better. There's a lot of glitchy stuff. Uh, and there's also a lot of things that we need to improve in terms of how the game looks with performance. Again, we lower those to make sure that we have a smoother, a smoother gameplay. And I think that's hopefully what we were able to accomplish. But overall, again, I think this city looks a little bit more realistic than what a beginning of a city in cities skylines one looked and it's incorporating a lot of stuff that sim city 4 and sim city 2013 did and they're taking the good things which is great and so i'm gonna call this first episode and the beginning of this city a success budget aside of course and i hope that you enjoyed this city as much or even more than you have enjoyed new austin again new austin will go into the weekends on saturdays and sundays and we will continue this city of houstonville during our weekdays i want to thank you for watching this first episode of city skylines 2 uh, thank you for watching this episode for liking and subscribing to my channel if you have any comments any suggestions please make sure to leave it in the comment section as always stay safe and we'll see each other in our next episode thank you